They both have headsets on, so you could speak as loud as you like. <laughs> so there we go. We get to see. Uh, that's gonna be shadow scene. Yeah. That is. Su yeah, that is a. Really. Okay, because we are landers. We both have landers on our team with explosion, and I love that. Which probably nobody's doing. Choice band Lando, it's a thing. Absolutely. I used it, uh. I think I used it. Oh, I used it three times at VGC. I think I only. I may have only used it twice. So here we go. We're gonna get in game one right here. So what do you think? Crobat's coming out first for Shadow? Yeah. He's a great lead. Absolutely. So there we go, we're gonna see. Tornadus is is a bit is an interesting choice. You don't see that a lot. Right, which I, I think that's a I really like that move. We wanted to use that, but it just it just didn't work out. So yeah. Absolutely. And Ray, I think, is a huge problem in this format. I think Ray's really strong. In doubles, well, he does allow you to ignore the weather effects that we're going to see basically in every single match. Yeah. So turn one here, he's going to make it. That's what I would do. Finish the job? Yeah. Nice. Right, is Tornadus, is he Prankster? Yeah, Prankster. Yeah, good stuff. Well, I mean, yeah, so now what does he usually probably throw out T-Waves? He cannot, oh, Tornadus. I'm, I'm just so used to uh, seeing Thunderous. You think so? Well, I mean, Tornadus has the uh, unknown factor, though. I wouldn't know what to expect. I probably would have just taunted him, too. I'd have been like, I'm going to throw that taunt out. Right. Into a protect, yeah. Sorry to totally our not going to see now sorry sorry to old age. two viewers. You had some really interesting things to say too. Sorry to everyone, that's it's lost <laughs> time now. <laughs> All right, so Crobat's going oh with Tailwind. We're now dude. we're now back in neutral. I can't believe that happened. Sorry, we'll, it'll be a do-over for game two. A Moongus, man. A Moongus comes out. Probably Koba Berry Moongus. He does get the one hit K on Carter, which is huge because that that is most definitely a win con for his team. Interesting. Ray's taking a ton One of One hit KO there, Ogre? Yeah. Huh. So he comes out Ogre. That's actually P Dong. Oh, that's P Dong. You got me all thrown off, Tommy. You're killing me. So P Dong is going to get the sun yeah. out. A um, little interesting choice with Amoongus on the field because more than likely that Ray is carrying over the So it will one shot the Amoongus. Very interesting decision with that one. Um, the Ray's the Ray's probably crippled at this point. He's sitting at very, very low health, so he'll just be able to chip him out at this point. And that tailwind is still gonna be up, I yes, believe. So yes. so he's definitely gonna have the uh Moongus going rage powder, and I do believe uh I believe the common set for Moongus lately is uh Koba Berry. But since the Super Fang is coming his way, here comes the Dragon Scent, probably gonna kill him. Through the Koba Berry. There it is. Yep, it's just too strong. Just as you said, sir. So we're probably going to see another Super Fang out of Crobat here. Yep. That's the thing about Crobat is players will, because he's only carrying Super Fang, he can't pick up KOs, people will leave him alone. Right. Which honestly is a bad idea because then you're just going to sit there and get Super Fang in death. Interesting. Is that Rock Slide? Yep. Physical huh. Pedon. Very, very interesting. Yeah. 
it, it was starting to pick up a little steam. Initially, everyone thought it was a bad move, but you know, everyone actually, started to get scared of Ho Oh and Salome. Right. I mean, Rock Slide does hit a lot of things, so it's definitely not bad. Especially with the Tailwind up, yep. uh, you can get that uh, flinch advantage too. Yep. So. Now here we see Shadow getting the weather advantage here, but more than likely that Tornus is carrying role play, so it will be removed very quickly. Right. And role play goes even through protect. It does go through protect. Yeah, which, which is, is a huge. It's huge. It's a lot better than skill swap. Yes, in that definitely. Yeah, I really I was thinking about running Cresselia with skill swap, but I'm like, man, like Thunderous or Tornadus with role play, in my personal opinion, is yep. a better choice. And since there's no way Cresselia can outspeed max speed Kyogre. But here's the thing though. Oh, so uh, is role play will, will be prankster. Correct. Yeah, so he's going to get it out uh, before the taunt comes, which we is probably coming. Yep, correct. I think Crobat is only going to be able to... Uh, this might finish the job here with one more rock slide. Yep. Honestly, Crobat should probably Roll try play. to... Let's see if Shadow read this. These guys did come together, so they play each other. Yep. That's always fun. You know how that goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we do that quite a bit. Yeah, Crobot's probably going to go with the Super Fang. He's probably going to try to... Oh, on Tornus. This is very interesting. Probably come at him with an Ice Beam. Okay. Get rid of the spread immediately. That's, that's what Crobat does super well, though. It sets up KOs. It sets up KOs just like that. Yeah. Now Tornus is gone. He's not getting any more Tailwind. No more role play. Right. I don't know if Crobat's has been using Ice Beam for Kyle Hurt. Yeah. Possibly pick up the KO on Crobat. Gets there we it. go. Gets it. Nice. It's a little chip on Kyle. That's all you need in this format. A little chip and you just set up KOs. Right. It's... And... I mean, uh, excuse me. Pedon has the advantage right now. Correct. Oh, until Not that anymore. just happened. And he's going to be at minus one. Yep. And he's running physical Pedon. And he's a physical so he's definitely going to play uphill here. And so he's going to eat an earthquake up for sure. Let's hope he's packing eruption or something, because if he's full physical, this is the problem. Yeah. He might not be, though, because we went uh, special Pedon and we got. I mean, yeah, we ran mixed. Yeah, I think we ran mixed. Mix way to go. But he's that's going to end up for some nice damage. Yeah. Yep. Nothing doing. Hits right into the protect, doesn't affect Landorus. And now the Tailwind is gone. Which honestly doesn't matter because he's going to pick up the final kill here with Earthquake. Yeah. Or goes for the Rock Slide for that is some the, reason. That is the only thing that is terrifying about Rock Slide is that, that it is not 100% accurate. That was a very good choice there. Maybe not to hit the Kyogre, but that at, at that point you're probably going to pick up the KO, so why not? Well, he, yeah, very true. He's playing it safe though, and he knows he. I mean, what can the Pedon really do right now? Yeah, not really. Much. He can't touch his his lander. Basically, it was safe. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> and a very somewhat decisive game one. Shadow seemed to have the upper hand every single time at every point. He really did. Shadow's looking. Uh, he's looking chipper right now. Uh, very spry. Yeah, my champion is just like, man, what just happened? He's like, he's probably like, man, I beat you all the time at home. Yep. And now, now first what, match now on, we stream. Get on stream. And now the pressure's kicking in. <laughs> exactly. Well, all right. See if he takes that knowledge Checking and his cell from phone. It. He's like, let me see if I got any tweets. Very interesting choice on the physic full physical feed on too. I just, I honestly think that sets a little underwhelming this year, to be honest with you. Well, what do you, what do you use in in lieu of his fire attack? Use fire punch. Fire punch. Which is coming off at about 75 BP. Yeah. I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of like purely physical attackers only because there's so many intimidates flying around. You have uh, Salamence, yep. Mega Salamence, which a lot of people are running, and I don't know, man. It's when you when you have that that Pokemon on the back end, and like we just saw right there, Pedon was his last Pokemon. La uh, Landris comes in, now he's permanently at minus one. Yep. Honestly, it's game over at that yep. point. Yeah, you're. Which at that point, eruption would have been huge. Yeah, eruption. If he was running maybe eruption, he blades would probably be taking out the Lando in two shots because. Just focus stash, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it definitely wasn't a uh, band choice. I mean, choice. the ogre's probably going to try to pick up maybe a chance at a two hit KO there. So we got at least you know, a couple what, turns. Like ice beam? With. Yeah. You just yeah. got to try to chip him out with ice beam. Yeah. So, yeah. So he probably had it regardless, but you know, having eruption in that scenario right there, at least an ogre heat would have been very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Whereas fire punch is sitting there minus one, even with the sun. Here we go. Not doing Game much. two. So Game 1 0 shadow right now. I think the very standard King's Conner, very safe lead. Shadow Ops go with the Crobat again because of how much work it did game one. I think it's kind of moodiest, man. This feels like VGC for the last two years. Yeah, this is VGC yeah. Uh, 2015 here. Very Chalk T reminiscent. Kangaskhan, though, Mega is so good. It's It needs to be gone. <laughs> I would agree with you that I think it's actually too good. They need Pokemon needs to do a little bit better looking at things that are centralizing and get them out of here. Because Khan is just it's too good. Smeargle, bro. Yep. 
Well, yeah. at, least they're, at least they're monitoring that this year, seeing how dark that dark void is. Yeah, I ran into three Smeargles at EGC, and of course the first thing I was expecting is a Dark Void. Dark void. I never saw else. Dark Void even yep. once. I couldn't believe it. Yep. So here comes the Taunt. Here comes the Taunt on the move. It's very smart. So it's going to eliminate that Rage Powder. Correct. Con going to Which, I mean, I don't really think would be that big of a deal because Landers is probably just going to Earthquake everything. Yeah. Because he's got Crobat with the Flying Types immune to it. Some nice damage, even at minus one on, on yeah, Landers. Yeah, that is huge. That is ridiculous. Very nice. Gets a uh, con down the yellow. Good read with the taunt coming from Crobat. Read the spore. Which is honestly what you should expect from Crobat. Or no, from Amoongus. Amoongus? The spore yeah. is so good. Yeah. yeah. Try to get the spore off as quick as possible. Yep. You think after game one, the champion would have seen that Crobat's running taunt, you know? Not go for the spore? Yeah, not go for the spore right in his face. Maybe, he was, maybe it was a read. Maybe he thought he was going to throw up Tailwind. Possibly. So definitely smart though to get the, the taunt out. There. Yeah, I, mean, I, I always throw the taunt out, like, even just in case. Even when you don't need it, that's taunt the Pokemon and I already taunted it for Because why not? Well, I can think of a lot of reasons why not. Well, I mean, if I got nothing else to do, it's taunt. True. I did that. I taunted to get dudes Gengar three times in a row. That, that's just showing off at that point. It was. Quick guard. Quick guard coming out, probably expecting the sucker punch. Very, very, very good read. Very nice. Landers is going to get another free Earthquake. Yeah, this will do some damage to Ogre, too. It's going to do some nice damage to Ogre. It's probably going to pick up the two-hit KO. It takes Finishes out Con, which is very nice. That's, that's huge. Huge win Con taken out right now. And Kyle Ko is sitting out in two-hit KO range. Yeah, and Lando's still in. Lando's sitting nice and pretty. Yeah, which, um, honestly, you kind of only expect him to be out there for two or three turns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you don't want him to be out there that long in this right. format. Everyone just needs to come in, get their job done, and just die. <laughs> Wait for something else. So honestly, in this turn here, I'm probably reading the Protect from the Kyogre, and Tornin is probably trying to set up the table. And there it goes. No, he Crobat's didn't. probably trying to match it. He didn't Tailwind. Yeah, it's so very he's probably going to Hurricane. We're going to see the Hurricane. And Crobat. Very, very interesting move. Maybe he just had enough Ooh. Crobat shit. <laughs> Great damage, though. Because I would. You're like, that's it. Here that's enough for so That's going to take out both of them. Yeah. Clean. So that was smart, shot. though. He was yeah. just trying to set up the, uh, the double KO up, there. Yep. So now I'm surprised he didn't water spout. Just to be safe. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it would be safe. Uh, it would have covered switching. You know, very, very hard. Right. Now we see Rake now, which is obvious at this point. Mm -hmm. And Kyle, so we're gonna see a nice little Kyle mirror here, a little rain mirror. I wonder if they have the same exact build. Um, it comes down to the more than likely, uh, one may be timid. I've seen a few people with Tim and Kyogre just to try to get the jump on other ones. I mean, they can't really do anything to each other unless they're running Thunder, which is true. Very, very, very rare. I would do Thunder. I did at first, but it, it's honestly it's pretty underwhelming. You think so? Yeah, Kyogre's coming off I think base one one fifty special defense. Ah, I see. Special defense. Yeah, so it's it's non stab. I mean, that's just for the Kyogre v Kyogre matchup though, which yeah, I which, you really which I suppose want to dedicate one slot just for a mirror match. Yeah, that's true. Especially in the tournament setting. Right. We're gonna need all the tools at your disposal. The Quaz is coming out with the protect, probably reading, probably reading the ice beam here. But obviously, the other Kyogre did. And Tornus is Tailwind. resetting it, so now we're back to neutral speed. I believe Shadow's got one turn of Tailwind left. Sounds right. Kyogre is coming with the Water Spout. It's gonna hit Tornus pretty hard. Oh! Coming with the Focus Sash. Yeah, activate Sash. Yeah, you gotta have Sash on the Genies this year. You yeah, can't even try definitely. to run bulky genies because they're just going to get two KO'd anyways. Yep. So why not run Sash? Uh, I was running double genies and at, at almost every single match I went to, they were bringing Chris Elliott with yep. Ice Beam. So 2v3, this I mean, champion's in a good spot in here though. He's in a decent spot. He's got to try to get something done in the Rick Claws and the Kyogre. Or he's just going to steamroll right through him. Yeah, it is possible that uh, he could finish off both of his Pokemon Very right possible. now. Very possible. Yeah. And then it'll be it'll it'll go from a 3-2 to two to a 2-1. to one. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely taking his time to think. Unfortunately, we don't have the timer in front of us here. <laughs> Just add that to our list of things today. Yeah. Tornado's coming out. Let's see who's coming in. It would be nice Amoongus to see those screens. In. That was it's interesting. Because he had the speed or is he? They both have Tailwind up right now. Yeah, so, so maybe he's going to wait until... Yeah, but interesting, because Ogre and Rayquaza can hit Amoongus super effective. Kind of switch. an interesting switch, unless he's trying to protect 
disappointed is for some reason. Explosion? New meta. New meta. Dragon Set's gonna pick up the KO on Kyler. Yeah, but Champion's not in a good spot right here. His back is really against the wall. Yeah, so it's 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 he's got nothing, honestly. Tornadus and. Yeah, he could spore everyone and then taunt them to death. Well, here comes the Ice Beam. Look at the little bit. Yeah. Not by much. He's not gonna get the score off because he switched him in. Right. So now we got Tornadus trying to special attack a Kyogre with Hurricane, which will do <laughs> absolutely nothing. And Rayquaza, which is still not gonna do anything. Yeah, I think Shadow might take this set here. He's in a good spot, yeah. but who knows, man? Obviously, the E speed coming out. He's taking off the Tornadus, so he can't set anything. It actually yeah, gets priority over Prankster. So even if we were trying to prank something right there, E speed's gonna get him before he can do it. Ah. <laughs> rage powder. Fairly, fairly irrelevant rage powder right there, but you know what? Why not? Why not? That's true. He's, he's showing his actual emotions. Yeah, why not? He's ragey. I'd be raging too right now. I'd so be too. That's gonna do it, huh? Yep. 2 0. That was a very handily 2 0 right there. Yeah, congratulations to Shadow. Yep.